After more than 50 years on the Chicago City Council, former Alderman Ed Burke will be sentenced tomorrow on corruption charges. As WGN's Judy Wang reports, some political analysts believe the 80-year-old will serve prison time. After a last-ditch effort failed to postpone sentencing, Chicago's longest-serving and once most powerful alderman is about to learn his fate. There will be a message as to can you get away with corruption if you're older? And the answer the judge will get will be no. Former alderman and political scientist Dick Simpson believes the judge will order Ed Burke to serve prison time. The judge will want to send a message that corruption will not be tolerated. Uh, somehow that message hasn't gotten through. Burke will be the 40th alderman convicted of corruption since 1972. In December, a jury found Ed Burke guilty of scheming to use his position to win business for his property tax law firm. Prosecutors alleged Burke tried to pressure owners of a Burger King in his ward to hire his firm in exchange for construction permits they needed to renovate the restaurant. Prosecutors claim Burke also shook down developers renovating the massive old post office. So did we Can land the, uh, the tuna? At the center of the government's case, more than 100 secret recordings made by ex-alderman turned FBI mole Daniel Solis discussing the schemes. So far, we had no, the cash register has not uh, rung yet. The prosecution asked for a 10-year prison sentence. Burke's attorneys asked for home confinement or probation, citing his age, 80. They submitted hundreds of letters of support for Burke, including one from former mayoral candidate and CPS chief Paul Vallis, who wrote, Burke is worthy of leniency. Judge Virginia Kendall disclosed members of the public have reached out requesting to speak during the hearing. Burke will also have the opportunity to address the court. The biggest issue with Burke uh, that has to do with sentencing is contrition. Uh, is he actually sorry? Does he admit that he did wrong? And is he sorry for what he did? So far, no statement like that has come out. The sentencing hearing is scheduled to begin Monday morning at 10. Judy Wang, WGN News.